and body language. And, and you know what? But have like the have like the sound effects like you can hear the, the wind uh, across and, like, the bay. You can no, hear a beacon really. across the sky. You can hear the diamonds like, tr like, like we'll put like a you know shining sound like the like a shimmering. Yeah, like they shimmer down. Um, I wanted black men to look up at the beak and then look down just like solemn and um mourning. They mourn as they see it. Not not shame. I mean, it looks like it's just like. You know, but it's not shame. Well, it's not shame. It's just like when you, if you've ever, it's basically if you ever had a shit job, and I'm gonna go with uh, working at Walmart pushing carts, because that's the kind of feeling you get. You're out there, and you. What about Wendy's? <laughs> Wendy's. That's not the same thing, though. I'm talking like this is physical hard labor, like pushing mm -hmm. these fucking carts all day. And you're doing something that nobody else wants to do. So, yeah, exactly. And then you just, it's kind of like the feeling that. It's like you are all alone in what yeah, you do. Yeah, exactly. And no one wants to fucking help you, and uh, like, not that you. But you know, it's like one of those very few people will do it. Very few people will and fucking do it. It takes a stoic person to even do yeah. that task, and to keep doing it for more than fucking like. Can you imagine having a woman like here? You're gonna push these carts, and not like you're gonna help, and then go inside. No, you're gonna sit out here for eight hours a day and push these fucking carts. Yeah, this is the primary or job. Side. Mm -hmm. This is what you're fucking do, and you're not gonna get to come and sit down and do whatever the fuck you want to. Can you imagine how quickly that would not? They would even they call in you know, every. They call in almost every. It wouldn't even be a call, and they wouldn't even fucking take the job. Probably. But it's like it's not. Yeah, it's not shame. It's more like you. Oh, just, you mentioned Walmart. It's like realizing that you're alone in a way. Mm -hmm. It's like. Or, solitude. I, I, the the best way, solitude. Yeah, the best way I can think is like the, the farmer. When he sees it, knowing he knows in his whole life, it will always be the same. It doesn't matter. Like in his lifespan, things won't change. They're gonna stay like this, and that, and he just has to deal with that. I want lots. Of, I want lots of black men in this video. Um, where are we gonna find them around here? Well, um, anyway, even if we have to draw an anime, I'm mean, just saying whatever. That'd be pretty cool. But um, it, it, well, it's kind of hard, but. Maybe we could use like a specific style of mm -hmm. art. Yeah, like, I'm not even saying anime, like we almost like some Art Deco 50s style art. I thought Art Deco was in the 30s. Oh, that's probably more. But anyway, dude. I'm used to play, I've been playing Bioshock this last week. It takes place in 1960. And that city was built in, I don't remember, in like. 1920s or something. No, it was built like, the ra Rapture was built like. I believe it was built in like the. It had to have been in like the late 40s or early 50s because 1960 was when the game takes place and 1959 is when shit went down in the city. So somewhere between, because World War II still happens in that timeline. So it's obviously going to be after World War II. So it's somewhere in between there and then. So I've been playing that and I was used to that timeline. So anyway, I was singing of Men in Africa. <laughs> See the beat flying across the sky. And oh, you know modern, that modern, like modern Africa. It can be, as in like. Well, I want to show I'm jungles and and and. I know like, that, but I'm not. I'm not yeah. saying like. Are you talking about like a tribe or more like these people that have AKs with like random clothing and like where they they're not in they're not in fucking Cape Town, but they're not in the middle of the fucking woods. I was thinking about the black uh, farmer, like somebody who's, um, you know, got, you know, out there. I'm talking about, are you talking about people like, like, like Lord of War, how that type of, where he, when he's in, um, fuck, what country was that? But you know what he's I mean? He's in several countries. I know, but when he's, Andre, you know, he's down in that yeah, yeah. somewhere. Are you talking about that type of, like, in a, in a sort of urban area, like they kind of have, they kind of have certain infrastructure. I was thinking more like village. So a village like with tribe, like they don't even wear like normal clothes, like they wear like traditional type of stuff. What are you talking about? Well, not not that primitive, um, but more like. Why don't you just show show like the miners, because they're. Uh, that's going a little bit too far in, in uh, you know. But yeah, yeah, we're no, getting that's there. Not, that's not what I mean. Like, I mean, like the mining type of people. Yeah, yeah. Like they, they well, have, like they have normal. Like they wear clothes. They don't wear like 
you know, I know some, you know. Are you talking about like Blood Diamond, kind of like? Yeah, like. Just remember that character, and he was on, he was in his village, and he got ran out of it, like that. Pretty those much. kind of guys. Yeah, yeah. Just, he's got like some type of fucking clothes on because he has to wear clothes, mm -hmm. and he's got his tool of his work and trade, mm -hmm. and he's doing some shit job that he doesn't want to fucking do. But he has to do it for exactly for his family and for what you know, and for his own existence, and um. But people from all walks of life, even fucking like, like New York stockbrokers will look up and see the beat. As long as it's men. Mm -hmm. As long as it's men. And then well, the women would just see the diamonds coming down. And that's why we should show some women. Also show mostly men. And just show the show the men's reaction, and then show the woman like, Daddy, it's me! <laughs> and the beak like. The beach specifically, I think for men, the diamonds do this. They shimmer down, but they disappear before they hit the ground. Like, they're, they're, they're like, you know, they're going down like this slow. Like, they, I, I think I know what you're talking about. they come down and land, they try to get them, but they're not real. women fight over them? Yeah, they're like, they're fighting, and then they pick it up, they finally get it, like, they beat all the women down, and it's cold, like, it's something, no, not cold, because that still has value. It's like dirt, like it's just dust, like and they pick it up and it, it just turns to dust in their hands. Well, I say, well yeah, that's kind of good. Or something like inconsequential, invaluable, or something that would represent nothingness. Like dust. Yeah. Because like, I was going to say coal, but coal still is... Has hey, I'll yeah, give you an idea. So the diamonds are raining down and all that from the trail, not from the whole sky, but just from the trail of the beak leaves. Yeah. And and they kind of disappear in the air when men look at them, and then they understand what it means and, and the solitude and all that. And that's why they Plus, don't, they don't care. Things. They don't care if they're because valuable. they're not valuable to them. Exactly. So they just so it's just inconsequential, and then men just kind of they see it, but then they ignore it. You know, they ignore interacting with it. And then women when they see the diamonds, like, come on, come on, diamonds, <laughs> and, then, and they start they fight, fight each other for them. They fight each other for them, and they're like trying to grab them all up, and then they find out. They show one that gets it, and she's like, <laughs> you know, they're it's all. And then they open fire. their hands. She opens, she opens up, and it's and it's the dust. It's the Well, what I was gonna say with the dust is, you know, they're all trying to grab for this stuff, and then, and then after they realize, and then after they realize that it's not diamonds. It turns out to be that they grabbed the very thing that was on the ground anyway to begin with. Whether it was like McDonald's, like yeah. ketchup packet, yeah, or like chunks of grass, or whatever. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, go to jail! And then it's just like a piece of trash or something. <laughs> yeah, or it's like, you know, it's like the occasion. Well, imagine, yeah. we should have one woman who sees one like the size of a, a basketball or football, yeah. and she picks up, and it actually is like a, like a soccer ball. Like, it, won't, it wouldn't be the same. Like, and then she found bouncing but it, it's huge it's like it's fucking huge she's like oh and she picks it up and she's all excited and it's just like it's just like a, a ball like a normal ball then like some kid like and, the kids, and the kids just sit there like like he's looking at her like he wants it back yeah cause, cause the ball like went astray when the kid was playing with it and but she picked it up like, and like, it it. like he's kicking around and then once they see the diamond, they she sees it like it she goes, hallucinates it and yeah, thinks the ball is a diamond. She fucking like is running for it. and He's trying to get it too, and she just kind of just shoves it out of the way, and picks it up, <laughs> and he's like on the ground like eh, like the little kid, and, like, eh, and she's got it. And she's like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you and me just in the last five minutes have went a little bit too far with um talking about. <laughs> what this stuff means. Yeah, I know. But, mm. Oh well, it was a good idea. You can just edit it out. <laughs> it is, it is that, a good that's, idea. That's, I'm going to make this video. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. It's so hard to do it, though. Unless we... Fuck. Hey, dude, we can write the script, write the screenplay, and pitch it to somebody who can make the video. Yeah. Like the dude that did the uh, Mario Smash Brothers. Or the, yeah, know, the Smash know, Brothers Fight Club. I know some fucking like. Cause he did a good job. I wish we could get. I don't know if you know who Freddie Wong is, but he has really. He's really good at who? video. Freddie Wong. He's this guy on YouTube. He does the best videos. Like he does the best at editing. He doesn't necessarily do like some of his videos are stupid. Some are really funny. And he does really good editing. He's like ridiculously good at it. He would be the prime person to do it, but I don't think he would do it. Cause I don't think he would. I don't think that would be something that he would be endorsed in. or be interested in. I tell you what, we should write the screenplay, we should storyboard it, even if we have to storyboard it and stick people. The point is, if we can express well, shit, it, have you seen what storyboards look like? We could do them like that. They look like shit, but they still get the point across. Exactly. 
And then we pitch it to somebody who would be receptive and who's got good capabilities and all that. Well, we should look on the, in the online community for, uh, you know, the men's community. Maybe there's somebody that does that shit. Yep. I think... I thought there's someone that we usually watch that's art. I don't know. Is, I don't Man, know. woman, myth is. You know. Is Barbarossa doing art? Um, Stardust and Bob Barbarossa both have art, but it's from Deviant Art, like some website of like a uh, collaboration of artists. And it's just like stock stuff, like people make art no, projects I'm and submit it. But do they do art? That's what I'm. I meant. don't think they make any of their own. Okay. Mm. And finishes. The fuck I have ever touched for you. I open up my door for you, What's and the three of you come storming in on me. You have no right to be storming in on me like this. You have no right to be storming in on me like this. You see this? No, if she was really in danger and wanted to get away with this guy, why the fuck is she coming back? Yeah. Get the fuck out you of have no me. right to be you storming in on me like this. Storming in. You know what? Fuck a rock. Count them. Yeah. Count them. The cops coming. Yeah. Count them right right now. <laughs> These people don't have the beak in their life. Clearly. So why do you have crazy land? What is that one? Is this HD? Same one. So they call it HD, but it's the same thing. Because, like, I grab it from different sites just to make sure I got it. Oh. I don't know. Um. <laughs> oh, man. That, uh, I need to get that other episode. Um, uh, but you know that David Tosh loves, right? You know how that whole thing happened? Like, the whole... What would it be funny if someone... Do you, the, another, I saw another community do almost the same thing. It was fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. But, what I want to do with this channel... Is like we can take music videos and, and analyze like, them, analyze them, and give our commentary. So Dude, I was, I was analyze, uh, fucking when we were up in Indy. We Indy, could start tonight if you want. When we were up in Indy, uh, Eric always listens to the radio because he likes radio music for some reason. Mm -hmm. And uh, that stupid fucking song—I don't know the bitch's name—that other British cunt, the one that I, I was making fun of earlier about. Uh, remember all the beaks that me, uh, you, and I loved first, or whatever. You know what song that first, yeah. Well, um, that song was on the radio and I started bitching about yeah, it. Yeah, you know who that bitch is? Her name is Cher Lloyd. I don't care who she is. And the song is called I Want You Back. But uh, that was on the radio and I started bitching about it like instantly. I was just like, oh, look, listen to this fucking bitch. And I just like... How they act about it. Uh, they just laugh because like, uh, they know it's true. Like, he, he listens to that music because <clears throat> he knows it's bad but he likes it anyway. I don't know. But, um... Uh, it's just like, I just kind of brought it to it, like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Like, why why do people like listening to this? And why, why do people like, make shit like that? Yeah, why does she make it? Why is it so fucking popular? Well, I know why it's popular, but it's like, so you fucking fucked it. You got tired of the, the dick you were having. You fucked someone else, but now he's fucked someone else, and, and he's not supposed to do that. He's supposed, no, you're allowed to, but he's not, and now you're going to get him back. Well, like, she, what thinks, the fuck? she thinks that he's property. I know, and that's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck? What gives you the right? Alright.